YouTube. So, I am in a different location, as you can see. I'm in my childhood home for Christmas, so Merry Christmas everyone. I'm very excited. And the day after Christmas, I'm going off on a holiday to Europe. I'm going to Barcelona and Paris, and it's the first time I will be traveling with my menstrual cup. So, this is just a quick video to discuss what I take when I'm on my period, how is that different to what I used to take, and when I come back, I'll tell you how it all went. So, first what I used to take. I used to have to bring all my stuff with me because for some reason I thought that countries I visited didn't have pads and tampons, which is not true by the way. So yeah, if you're a pad and tampon user and you want to remain that way, if you're traveling to most, most countries have them, you might have preferences, in which case you have to pack them with you, but if you run out, there'll be something and you'll be okay. So yeah, I used to carry a lot of tampons, I'd have to do the whole lot. I'd have the super ones and the regulars and the minis and then I'd have liners and I'd have overnight pads, had the whole lot. And that was fine, it just took up a big part of my suitcase and that was annoying. But this time I'm packing light, it's very exciting. This bag here is all of my toiletries for three weeks, it's so awesome. Apart from my period stuff I've got, well, I don't actually use shampoo and conditioner, that's a whole other story, but I've got stuff for hair and toothpaste and earrings, bobby pins, moisturizer, hair ties, all in here, very awesome. So, of course, the star of the show is my menstrual cup. It's a very scary look at my face. It's really good, it's great. Well, the whole channel's about it, so obviously it's pretty good. Last month, I was able to get through my entire period using no liners at all. Nothing, just the cup, no leaks, it was very good. I'm really hoping that streak will continue on this trip because I don't want to be washing underwear out in the sink just because who wants to do on the holidays? It'll be winter over there, so I really don't want them to take days to dry and there'll be enough sink washing as it is. I'm going for three weeks with like a carry-on suitcase, so there'll be some washing involved. But yeah, this little menstrual cup, it's going to be great. I'm very excited about it. That will be my fifth period on the menstrual cup. Time flies. So yeah, that's going to be good. So aside from the menstrual cup, I still do use liners occasionally. As I said before last month, I didn't, but I'm still bringing some just in case. So still on the disposable liners. Haven't made that switch yet. So this is just, it's fun. They're colorful. I really like that. And then they just come in a little thing and a whole bunch of liners. So that's what I'm bringing for the trip. I'm hoping well, maybe for Christmas if I get any money for Christmas, which I probably won't. But yeah, I might buy some Thinx. The Thinx underwear, I'm quite excited about that. That's like a, it's a fabric pad, but it's underwear and that'll be good. So I'm, I'm looking forward to buying some of that and having that replace my liners because I could also do with some new underwear. I've got a lot of gross stuff. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that a lot. Cup, liners, and a lot of medication because I'm a sick child when it comes to my periods. I've got in here that big one there, that's iron supplements. I take those every day because I'm quite anemic because I have menorrhagia, which is very heavy flow. So my iron intake is fine, but I'm bleeding out too much of it. So once a day, got to pop one of those. This one here is a period pain tablet. I think the brand name is Ponstan. Brilliant, great stuff. I find this amazing. My doctor recommended this brand to me. Same brand that was recommended for my mother 30 years ago. So it must be good stuff. And I've got, oh, that's just paracetamol just in case I get a headache. This one on the end there, that's my tranexamic acid. That's one recently prescribed. It actually reduces the amount of flow or it thickens it and makes it seem less. Anyway, it's changed my life. I now bleed about a quarter of what I used to. It's incredible. That's why I don't, I think last month I was able to go without using any liners because my cup was sufficient with my new and improved flow. So yeah, as you can see, pretty small list, cup, liner, medication. So yeah, I'm really excited to see how that goes because I'll be away for three weeks. Got my period right over New Year's, so that's going to be fun. But yeah, thankfully with my new period routine, I've changed up a bit. Things are much easier. I think it all happened around the same time, got a menstrual cup, finally went to see a doctor, it all just came together. And now we'll put it to the test, see how I go in Spain and France, travelling, 
with a period. And I'll let you know how it goes when I get back. So have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, everybody, and Happy Period.